We begin this week with the very first image of the supermassive black hole at the center of our galaxy. Sagittarius A star, as it's known, is 4 million times more massive than our Sun. The image comes from the Event Horizon Telescope, or EHT, that linked together eight radio observatories from around the world to create an Earth-sized virtual telescope. EHT says the ongoing collaboration will allow scientists to share even more impressive images in the future. Also this week, NASA's SpaceX Crew-3 safely splashed down in the Gulf of Mexico after 177 days in orbit and having circled Earth more than 2,800 times. The mission started late last week with Crew-3 packing their bags and climbing aboard a SpaceX Dragon capsule dubbed Endurance for this mission. NASA astronauts Kayla Barron, Raja Shari, former station commander Tom Marshburn, and their European counterpart Matthias Maurer had been aboard the International Space Station since November. NASA says Crew-3 conducted experiments ranging from new life support technology to how concrete hardens in microgravity. They completed four tandem spacewalks to both modernize and repair parts of the ISS. The endurance splashdown marked the busiest month yet for SpaceX. The private spaceflight company had already sent replacements to the ISS Crew-3 in addition to launching a private spaceflight. SpaceX has now launched 26 people into orbit in less than two years, with eight of them being space tourists. In other news, a new report to the World Meteorological Organization paints a grim picture for our planet's climate. The international study from 11 forecast centers around the planet shows a 93% chance that the world will set a new record for the hottest year by the end of 2026. Experts say this is a cause for alarm. The climate that we have now is a product of the atmosphere that we had 20 or 30 years ago. And if we wait another 20 to 30 years, when we have a full-on climate crisis going on, and then decide that it's time to really do something serious about reducing emissions, uh, it will be too late. Experts have long warned that 1.5 degrees Celsius global temperature rise would trigger devastating results, including more severe droughts and storms. The report predicts a 50-50 chance the world surpasses that threshold in the next five years. Finally this week, California-based Rocket Lab did what everyone seems to be doing these days when they launched a rocket from New Zealand. But here's the twist. Instead of a controlled landing like its competitors, a helicopter caught the booster mid-air. The real-world test did suffer a setback as pilots noticed a weight imbalance and ultimately dumped the booster in the ocean. Rocket Lab did, however, fully succeed in sending 34 satellites into orbit. Arash Arabasadi, VOA News.